Psalm 90, I'll start in verse 1. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were born, or you gave birth to the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn man back into dust and say, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it passes by. Or as a watch in the night. You have swept them away like a flood. They all sleep. In the morning, they are like grass, which sprouts anew. In the morning, it flourishes and sprouts anew. Toward evening, it fades and withers away. For we have been consumed by your anger. In your wrath, we have been dismayed. You have placed our sin before you. Our secret sins in the light of your presence. For all the days have declined in your fury. We have finished our years like a sigh. As for the days of our life, they contain 70 years, or if due to strength, 80 years. Yet their pride is but labor and sorrow. For soon it is gone and we fly away. Who understands the power of your anger and your fury according to the fear that is due you? So teach us to number our days that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. Do return, O Lord, how long will it be? And be sorry for your servants. O satisfy us in the morning with your loving kindness, that we may sigh for joy and be glad in all our days. Make us glad according to the days you have afflicted us and the years we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants and your majesty to their children. Let the favor of the Lord God, our God, be upon us and confirm us for the work of our hands. Yes, confirm the work of our hands. So toward the beginning here, um, it looks like Moses talks about um, that God, uh, we know that God was there um, from everlasting to everlasting before the mountains were born. And then it reminds me a little bit of Genesis. Um, I think it's Genesis three. It says, you turn man back into dust and say, return, O children of men. Didn't he tell Adam, um, you are made from dust and to dust you'll return. Mm -hmm. Then he talks about wrath. Mm -hmm. He talks about that our sins are placed before God. In verse eight, he says, our secret sins in the light of your presence. So even our sins that nobody else knows about, God knows about. Mm -hmm. Verse 11, who understands the power of your anger? I'm sure we don't grasp it completely, huh? And your fury according to the fear that is due you. Do we give him the fear? Or do we um do we fear him the way he's due? That's a great question. Yeah, but then you know what I like on that? If you, if you go to the go to right next 91, mm -hmm. love that. Because it tells yep. us that we what we can have. Right. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty. <laughs> right. So, right. so here you are, you're having these things, you know, the, the wrath God, he's going to God and you know, everything that, that we've done and you know, the wrath will be upon us and all these things. But then if yep. we go to 91, if we, we dwell in him, you know, but God, right. But, like brother Daryl likes to say, exactly. but God, yeah. But God. <laughs> Because you have wrath in Psalm 90, and then you have grace in Psalm 91. Yes. He will and I saw that at the end. He is my refuge and my fortress, my yeah. God, and whom I trust. Right. So, yes. yeah. Well, you know, the wrath of God um, is, is bad for those who don't know him. I'm not yeah. saying it's not scary, but it's, but it's a bad thing for those who don't know him. Um, and that's what that's what we're saved from. We're saved from his wrath. So praise God. I think we, I think it's another thing too. We we have to be, you know, like we always talk about, like Ponty talks about. He goes, but those are the ones that call themselves Christians that aren't following the word of God, that aren't doing his commandments, that are that what he's commanded us to do. Where where do they stand? Where do they fall in? You know, 
Matthew what chapter seven. Right. What's that? Matthew chapter seven, verse twenty-one. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's what's a fear of it because you know it's not being taught like we said it's not being taught in the church yeah uh, matthew chapter 7 verse 21 an lt version says not everyone who calls out to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of heaven and you see that that's extremely scary because many people will call him call him lord lord many people call him their god many people call him you know yeah. You know, call themselves Christians and then to go before him yes. and not be led into heaven. Yeah. I mean, how, how disappointing is that going to be? I mean, how surprising is that going to be? And it says, only those who actually do the will of my father will enter. <clears throat> you guys know that that was the first go ahead. chapter and section of the Bible that he actually preached on in when he became a pastor. <laughs> That that's a tough that's a tough place to start. Well, <laughs> he wanted to be he wanted to be straight up and honest. You can tell that that was yeah. that he was sincere. He was sincere in his faith with the Lord. He's like, hey, there. It says right here in the Word that there's some of you that, that are going to say, Lord, yeah. Lord. Did we not do this? Did we not do that? There are some of you sitting in this audience that think you have a relationship with Christ, but you don't. And you, right. you hear recording and. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and that's why I'm sure that's why his church has grown so much you know if you don't fear someone you don't respect them either right you yeah. know like um, you know like your, your parents you know you fear I feared my mom <laughs> and yeah. I respected her too <laughs> and uh, yeah. I, I was telling my, my daughter she got a little 10 year old who's running rings around her i said you know i said like, she doesn't behave she doesn't do these things i said because she doesn't fear you yep. you know well she should be afraid of me i said yes she should <laughs> she should fear that she there's consequences for doing things wrong and that's that's the thing today that's a dangerous place to be if you don't think there's any consequences which is why our prisons are all full and people doing all kinds of ridiculous things because they don't fear that there's consequences, that there's a God. They don't fear the wrath. They don't want to accept it. So therefore they don't respect what the word of God says. <laughs>